Hello everyone, Ronnie J here from Internet Radio Station. In a previous video, I talked about creating categories. And, and again, these were uh, containers where you can organize your music. And recall that I created uh, four categories under my music category. Smooth Jazz, Acid Jazz, Classic Jazz, and Deep House. And I uploaded music into each of these categories. And also created a fifth category under station IDs and I uploaded my station IDs into that category. Now the next step is to schedule an event for each of those five categories. If I have five categories I must schedule or create five events. Now if we go to desktop C if you set your sound broadcaster layout like mine, you will find the event scheduler to the lower left hand side. If not, go to window and then select event scheduler and it brings it in here. And the event scheduler is where you would schedule events for each of those categories. Now here's the caveat. Before you can schedule an event for the categories, you have to create a clock wheel. So if you have, let me put it this way. If you have five categories, you must have five events and you must have five clock wheels. So before you use the event scheduler, you have to create your clock wheels. So again, think of it this way. Five categories, five events, five clock wheels. First, you create your categories. Second, you create your clock wheels and then you can schedule your five events. So to do the clock wheels, and I did a video just on clock wheels, so this will be like a review for you. We'll go up to the config area here and go to where it says playlist rotation rules and where it says playlist logic modules and make sure that clock wheel category rotation logic module version 2.0.0 is selected and click config. And it's going to be in here that we're going to create our clock wheels. Now, when you first log in, you're probably not going to see this. These are uh, clock wheels that I created. So I'm going to take you through the process of creating a clock wheel. And again, you will find that there's another video that covers the same thing. But uh, sometimes repeating something is a good thing. So let me wipe this clean. And let me show you how to create a clock wheel. And again, we're going to create five of them since I have five categories. If you see anything in your sound broadcaster right here, just go ahead and highlight it and then delete it. Then click on the category button here. And it pulls up this window here. Double click on the content star. And it pulls down your categories here. And under the music category, I have four categories. I'm going to expand that out and there they are. So on my first clock wheel that I'm going to create, I'm going to select the Smooth Jazz folder. Over here, make sure that the Enforce Playlist Rotation Rules button is checked and that selection method, we're going to use the first one here, Weighted. I'm going to select that and click OK. And that places this here. Place your cursor at the end there and then hit the enter key on the keyboard and we're going to do another one. Click on the category button again. Double click on the star content. Pull down and select the smooth jazz category again. And this time we'll leave this selected up here. We're going to pick one that says uh, least rather the most recently played song. We'll select that one and then click OK. That places this one here. Place our cursor at the end of that line. Hit the Enter key. Click the Category button again. And we're going to double click on the Star Content button. Expand out our Music folder. Select Smooth Jazz Category again. And again, we're just creating a, we're going to do the same thing for all four categories within this folder. And the next one we're going to select is going to be random. Then click OK. Places that line here. And your cursor at the end and we'll do one more. Click on the category button. We'll expand out the music folder. 
select Smooth Jazz, and then we'll select the least recently played artist radio button and click OK. And that places this right here. So what this does for us for the Smooth Jazz category, it gives us a good mix of songs. The, the same song won't be played, rather the same songs won't be played uh, back to back uh, or over and over again when the, within the hour or whatever. You'll get a good mix. All right, so once you've done that, then we'll click the Save button here and give this a name, and we'll call it uh, Smooth Jazz. And we want to place this within our Sam Broadcaster Clock Wheel directory, and mine is going to be in Program Files, Spatial Audio, and you can place these anywhere you want. This is where I keep mine. Sam Broadcaster, and I created a directory called Clock Wheels. And I ought to have one there called Smooth Jazz, but I'll overwrite it. And there we go. It's saved. And click OK. All right, so we need to create uh, three more. And actually, I sort of stayed in there. So we're going to create three more. And we don't have to go through the same process as we did before. We're going to use the same information. The only thing that we're going to change in here is what you see in the green. These are your category names. And your category names that you created must be exact. Let me show you. Let me exit out of this. Take it back to desktop A. And let's look at our music section. Notice here that I have smooth jazz, acid jazz, classic jazz, deep house. I just created the clock wheel for smooth jazz. The name you saw was exactly as you see it right here, Smooth Space Jazz. The next ones, Acid Jazz, Classic Jazz, Deep House must also be the same, spelled exactly the same or else they won't work. So you want to take note of that. Then we'll go back into Config, Playlist Rotation Rules, Config, and here we go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to type in the next category, which is going to be Acid Jazz, exactly as you saw it earlier, Acid Jazz. And I'm going to copy that and paste that within here. Just like that. Then click Save and then give this a name and call it Acid Jazz. And click OK. On the next one, we had one called Classic Jazz. Again, exactly as you saw it. It's like that. Then we do a Save and we'll call this one Classic Jazz. So now we have one, two, one, two, three. And the last one is Deep House. Okay. Then we'll do a save and we'll call this one Deep House. And we can click OK and exit out. So now that we have our four clock wheels set up, for our four categories. I won't do station IDs because it's the same thing. We can now schedule an event for each of these categories. And scheduling an event is very easy. To do that, we'll go into our desktop B and we have the event scheduler. To schedule your event, you will click on the plus symbol here and then give your event a name. And I'll call the first one the Smooth Jazz. On my Smooth Jazz one, I'm going to run that from 4 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, the reason why I do this up here, this is for me. So I'll know how long I want Sam Broadcaster to pull from that Smooth Jazz category. So it's going to be playing Smooth Jazz from 4 a.m. to 4 p.m. I'm going to click on the Recurring Event button here. I want this to run every day. And I'm going to set the time here to 4 a.m. Just like that. What I normally do is that I keep three songs in the queue. 
each song averages about five minutes. So that's 15 minutes total. And so this event is not going to run until all three songs in the queue have played. So I want to schedule this to run 15 minutes before this time. So I'm going to set this to 3.45. You don't have to do this, but this is what I do. And then I'm going to click Add. And that places this here. Next, over here under Action, we want to associate the Smooth Jazz clock wheel with this event. So we'll click on this folder here, and you navigate to the location where you keep all your clock wheels, and there's number one for Smooth Jazz, so I'll select that, click Open, then click OK. And it places that event right here. So at 4 a.m. to 4 p.m., all the songs in this category here called Smooth Jazz will play. Let's do the next one for Acid Jazz. So I'll go back to my desktop C, desktop B rather, right? that's where I was operating out of. Let's do the second one. So we'll click on the plus symbol and we'll give this one a name and call it Acid Jazz. And I want Acid Jazz to run from 4 p.m. to let's say 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Click on the recurring event button. I want this to run every day. And I'm going to set this to 11, rather to 4 p.m. to start. In other words, it's going to pick up, it's going to start running right after the smooth jazz one is finished. So I'll type in 4 p.m. and then click add. But again, I'll, I want this to run after all three songs in the queue have played. So I'll set this to 3.45 p.m., 15 minutes before the hour. Click add. Then I want to associate a clock wheel with the Acid Jazz category. So I'll click on the load clock wheel, click on the folder icon here and select Acid Jazz clock wheel. Click open and click OK. This is our second one. So from 4 a.m. to 4 p.m., Smooth Jazz will play. Then from 4 p.m. to 11 p.m., Acid Jazz will play. In other words, all the songs in the Acid Jazz category will play. Let's do the next one. And the next one is Classic Jazz. Let's go to the event schedule, click on the plus icon. We'll call this one Classic Jazz. And I want that to run from 11 p.m., right after Acid Jazz is played, until, let's say, um, 1 a.m. in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. There's to be a recurring event every day, and we want it to start at 11 p.m., but we'll do it 15 minutes before the hour, so we'll set this to 10.45 p.m. and click Add. Then we'll load the clock wheel for Classic Jazz. So we make sure the Load Clock Wheel button is selected. Click on the folder icon there and select the Classic Jazz Clock Wheel. Click Open and click OK. And there we go. So Smooth Jazz from 4 a.m. to 4 p.m. Then picking up at 4 p.m. to 11 p.m. we have Acid Jazz. Then from 11 a.m., 11 p.m. rather, to 1 in the morning we have Classic Jazz. Let's do the last one. And that will be Deep House. We'll call this Deep House. And Deep House will run from 1 a.m. to 4 a.m. That's going to be a recurring event. We'll have that start at uh, 15 minutes before the hour of 1 o'clock. So we'll make this 12.45 a.m. Click Add. We want to associate a clock wheel with the Deep House category. Click on the folder icon and there's Deep House. Click Open and click OK. So we have a whole day covered. As you can see here from the Smooth Jazz category here, we have Smooth Jazz from 4 a.m. to 4 p.m., Acid Jazz from 4 p.m. to 11 p.m., Classic Jazz from 11 p.m. to 1 a.m., Deep House from 1 a.m. to 4 a.m. 
Then it starts all over again at 4 a.m. Smooth jazz will play. So a whole day is covered. This is each and every day. And that's it. Once you have that set up, Sam Broadcaster takes care of the rest. This is Ronnie J from InternetRegulation.com talking about the event scheduler.